Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's been a while since I made a Black Ops 4 video, but this is one that I've kind of had in the making for a little while now. I wanted to talk about the five best weapons in Black Ops 4 updated because we haven't made one of these videos in a while. I try to do one every like three months or so, so it incorporates all weapon changes and of course the new weapons that are implemented in the game. And what we're going to be doing today is a little bit different. Instead of just talking about the five best weapons, we're going to go through each class. So assault rifles, SMGs, TAC rifles, LMGs, and then finally sniper rifles. And for each of those classes of weapons, I'm gonna tell you which one I believe to be the best one in every single class. Now, the interesting thing about this is you're gonna discover something about this game that you might not have known otherwise by looking at the weapons this way. And I'll talk about it at the end of the video, but you'll see what I mean kind of throughout the video as we talk about it. So one thing that I wanted to mention before we dive into the top five weapons is that tonight I am gonna be live streaming on Twitch. We're gonna be playing a new game called Man of Medan. It's actually kind of like a scary game made by the people who did Until Dawn. So if you're at all interested in checking out my live stream, it'll be the first link down in the description, and hopefully I can see you there around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But without further ado, let's dive in to what I believe to be the top five weapons in Black Ops 4. So to start out, we're going to start out with the big weapon, the one that's probably the most popular within Call of Duty. Of course, that is the Assault Rifle. And this one is definitely the most difficult out of any of the classes of weapons because they're relatively even, but I think it comes down to between three Assault Rifles. The first of which is the Rampart 17. The best part of this weapon is that it has High Caliber 1 and High Caliber 2. So just by shooting an enemy in the upper chest, you have a big advantage over other people. On top of that, the second one is the KN-57. This is a weapon that really wasn't so great at the launch of the game, but through patches and recoil buffs, this weapon has become a force to reckon with. The third of which is a DLC weapon, the Peacekeeper. This one is essentially a better version of the ICR. Very close to the same thing, with less recoil, and on top of that, a faster fire rate, which is absolutely insane. So if we weren't accounting for attachments, if we were just looking at the base weapon, the winner would absolutely go to the Peacekeeper. However, that's not the way Call of Duty works. Every weapon you're going to use is going to have attachments on it. And because of that, the winner for assault rifles has to go to the Rampart. And the reason being for that is with high caliber one and two, you can simply shoot enemies in the chest and kill them so, so quickly. Once you have high caliber one and two on this weapon, it is the fastest killing assault rifle by a pretty substantial substantial amount, but you have to get those upper body shots. Now, the one downside to the Rampart compared to other assault rifles is it does have a little bit more recoil, but that can be counteracted. The first thing I'm doing to counteract that is I'm using a grip. The second thing is I'm using the recon scope. A lot of people don't know this, but the recon scope actually reduces recoil for a lot of weapons in this game. So by using both the grip and the recon, this weapon has actually very little recoil. So the full class setup that I'm using here is I'm using the Rampart with recon, high cal 1, high cal 2, and grip. I'm also using stim shot, which is always important on classes. On top of that, I use engineer, gung ho, and dead silence. You're pretty much gonna see that on every class we look at today. Moving on to SMGs. This one, once again, is also a little more difficult than a lot of people think. So the first gun you're looking at here is the Switchblade X9. This weapon is actually way better than a lot of people think. In fact, it actually outguns the SOG up close, especially if you're using Rapid Fire 1 and Rapid Fire 2. The Switchblade has actually been buffed over the past few months and is now definitely one of the best SMGs. The one problem I have with the Switchblade is it just has too much recoil and is not good at being basically anything over 10 meters. Within 10 meters, by far the best SMG though. However, I think the most consistent and best and fastest killing SMG is the one that we've been talking about since December, the Damon 3XB. Once again, there is high caliber one and two available for this weapon on top of that hybrid mags on top of that rapid fire. There is just a lot of really, really good attachments for this weapon. And on top of that, it's just got a good fire rate, good damage. And I think the key to this weapon is extremely low recoil. Even though this is an SMG, you can still pick people off across the map, especially when using that high caliber, because of the low recoil on this weapon. It's actually quite the opposite of the switchblade we just talked about, where you can't pick people off at long range because of the high recoil on the switchblade. This weapon is the opposite. Even if someone's halfway across the map behind a head glitch, you can still pick them off because of how low the recoil is on this weapon. Now, the class setup that I use for this one is actually a little bit different, a little bit more attachment heavy as opposed to 
perk heavy. So with the Damon, I use a ELO. I don't really like the iron sights, but it's not really needed. So if you don't need the ELO, just replace this with either engineer or dead silence, probably dead silence. Uh, after this, you got high caliber one, high caliber two. We talked about how important those are. Basically reduces your bullets to kill by one. After that, we have Rapid Fire. It's not really needed on this weapon. All it does is decrease the burst delay by just a little bit, but it's a very, very small margin. So if there's one attachment you're going to get rid of, get rid of Rapid Fire. And then after that, Hybrid Mags. This makes it so you have more bullets in your magazine and you reload faster. A very important attachment, in my opinion. And then as far as the rest of the class, once again, using Stim Shot, and then the only perk I have here is Gung Ho. Up next, we have tactical rifles, and if you were to ask me this a couple months ago, it would have been the Augur. The Augur DMR has pretty much been my favorite weapon since the launch of the game. With high cal 1 and 2, it has an incredibly fast time to kill, but then the Stingray came out, and the gameplay you're watching here is without the Operator mod. The crazy part is, is the gun's way better with the Operator mod, and I know that this thing got nerfed recently with both the fire rate, the damage, and pretty much everything with this weapon got nerfed, but I honestly still think it is the best tactical rifle in the game. It is just so damn good with the operator mod that nothing else is really able to compete with it. And because of that, it's just the best tactical rifle. It still might even be the best weapon in the game. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But as far as a class setup for the Stingray... What I like to use is a lot of attachments once again. So here I'm using rapid fire. Once again, not necessarily necessary, but definitely helps out every once in a while. Hybrid mags, basically when hybrid mags are available, I use them. Long barrel actually helps quite a bit on this weapon. And then finally, the operator mod, which is of course the impact blast, which makes your rounds explosive. And then as far as stim shot and gung ho, that's the same thing we've seen the whole time. Now, the reason why this weapon is so good with the operator mod is because you don't need to be accurate. I don't think a lot of people understand this. With high caliber 1 and high caliber 2, you have to hit your target either in the head or the upper chest. Essentially, what the operator mod of the Stingray does is give you high caliber, but across the entire body of your enemies. And that is why it is so good. Moving on to the LMGs, so I'm guessing a lot of you are going to expect the best LMG to be the Titan, but in fact, it's not. The best LMG in the game is actually the Tiger Shark. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but basically the Tiger Shark is just a better Titan. It has the same damage profile with a much faster fire rate, faster reload speed, and just most of the stats on the Tiger Shark are just better than the Titan. Basically, they took the Titan and just said, you know what? We need a better one of these in the game. The only thing that's a little bit better on the Titan is the Titan has less recoil. However, the Tiger Shark doesn't have an overabundant amount of recoil. So in other words, the recoil isn't so bad that the Titan can be better just because it has less recoil. On top of that, in my opinion, the Tiger Shark also has better attachments. Speaking of which, the class setup that I use on the Tiger Shark is I like to use an ELO. Not really necessary, but I don't love the iron sights, so I like to use some sort of optics. On top of that, stock, really important on this weapon, straight firing is huge. Grip to counteract that recoil we talked about before. And then finally, fast mags. This gun for an LMG actually reloads in close to the same amount of time as the assault rifles. And then with fast mags, it's even better than that. Now, you're going to notice that one attachment that's available is the high caliber attachment. It's actually not good on this weapon. You have to get two headshots as opposed to one with it. So I actually don't recommend high caliber. But if you're really scrambling for attachments, you could use it. And then as always, we are using stim shot and then engineer gung ho and dead silence so prior to this weapon coming out i probably would have said the titan's the best gun just because good damage profile very low recoil and then the tiger shark came out and just had all better stats than it so essentially that's why the tiger shark's the best lmg and then finally last but absolutely not least the sniper so this one if you've watched any of my recent videos you should know the best sniper in this game is absolutely the new sniper the javelina aa50 this sniper is ridiculous. Essentially, it is a paladin with four times the fire rate. Not, not double, four times the fire rate of the paladin. It's actually more than that, but we're just rounding here. 
So basically, if you use high caliber one on this weapon, your damage profile is going to look like what you're seeing on screen here. That is where you're going to get one shot kills. There's really no point in using high caliber two. It just makes it so you can get a one shot kill in the hands. It doesn't change the body multiplier at all. So it's not quite the same damage area as the paladin, but it's close enough where as long as you can hit that upper body, you're going to be good. And on top of that, it nearly has a 200 RPM fire rate, which for a sniper with that fast of a fire rate should never consistently be a one shot kill. For example, it should have more of a damage profile of something like the outlaw, for example. But like I said, this is just by far the best sniper in the game. It's ridiculously overpowered. And if it wasn't just in supply drops, I think a lot more people would be complaining about this gun. So as far as the class setup goes for the Havelina, you have to use high caliber one. Do not use high caliber two. It just doesn't give you enough area like high caliber one does. After that, I use stabilizer to reduce some of the idle sway because this weapon does have a substantial amount of that. And then finally, speed loader. The one downside to the Havelina is that it has a really slow reload time. You can counteract that by using the speed loader. After that, I just had a class slot open, so I used the strife just as a backup weapon. And then as always, stim shot engineer gung-ho dead silence the normal things that i use so remember how i said we were going to discover something when looking at the best weapon in every single class well four out of the five classes of weapons the best weapons were dlc weapons or weapons you can now only get out of reserves do you think that treyarch is doing that on purpose not to mention the one class of weapons that was better the assault rifles the rampart the Peacekeeper is just very close behind that, which once again is another weapon that you can now only get out of reserves. So it seems to me that it's pretty clear that Treyarch or Activision, one of the two of them, are trying to make all of the best weapons in the game DLC weapons. And it kind of sucks because if I was going out and wanting to buy a game right now and I bought Black Ops 4 and started playing the multiplayer, I would immediately be at a disadvantage because I would have to play literally hundreds of hours before getting these out of reserves or I would have to spend hundreds of dollars to get the best weapons out, the, out of the game and I don't like that because I don't think you should buy a game and immediately be at a disadvantage because you have to spend more money to get the most out of the game I just I really don't like that and it seems to me it's pretty clear they're blatantly doing that but maybe you disagree with me if you do if you disagree with any of the weapon selections that i made throughout this video let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed the video i'd love it if you could hit that like button and as always if you're new to the channel and like what you see here make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you have notifications on but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time guys peace out we are we are reaching for the stars but we're making this too hard.